Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And here I am Tarun Sharma. And I'm going to publish one more playlist with the two playlists which I'm already covering Uber Eats Clone and Swelt Kit Advance. In this playlist, I'm going to talk about this uh, stuff Apollo GraphQL and Apollo GraphQL Federation. You might have heard about REST APIs, GraphQL APIs, and all. And you might even have already tried how to write the GraphQL APIs with the help of Node.js. Now, on top of that, we are going to talk about Apollo GraphQL Federation. Okay. I mean, this might be a, you might already be familiar with Apollo and Gar GraphQL. This Federation is a new concept which they have added. Okay. Earlier, you might be already uh, writing GraphQL APIs with the help of Node.js, either Express or the Nest.js, which is fulfilling the client queries and mutation. Let's say this is your GraphQL server which is built on Node.js and this is your client which is sending what query and mutation or subscription so this is your client here what you do is you send a query or mutation or subscription you subscribe to a particular change so this is what GraphQL provides and you are writing the GraphQL APIs but we live in the microservice world. That means a single service can't give you each and every kind of data. So what we earlier used doing is we were writing a multiple GraphQL services with the help of same Node.js GraphQL or Nest.js GraphQL. So we were building these kind of microservices and we were replicating, let's say, these are multiple GraphQL services we have built and then we were writing code to stitch the data and merge the merge the data and aggregate the data because let's say this is a user service okay we'll talk in the context of microservices so it is more clear to everyone this is an order service Earlier there was a concept, okay, let's say you already have a REST APIs, then you can write a GraphQL gateway service, which, which can aggregate the data coming from different data source. Either you have existing REST APIs or legacy system, you just write a wrapper and you should be able to expose the GraphQL schema from them and the GraphQL uh, queries can be triggered to fetch the data from those services. But what GraphQL Federation provides? Here it is, Apollo GraphQL Federation. I mean, recently I developed an application uh, on the housing and earlier also I did a POC on how it really works and I'm really impressed that how it deals with the microservices. Okay, let's say you did here you have written a card service or here you written a user service, order service, all are GraphQL services. I mean, you can actually fetch, you can trigger a queries and mutation directly to the order service, card service and user service. They all exposes the schema. I mean, the, the query and mutations you can directly trigger to the user service, card or order service. But I want to merge the schemas because what they expose GraphQL schema. I want to merge the GraphQL schemas and I wanted to provide a central gateway. So here I'm talking about this. This is a gateway service. And I just want to trigger a single query so that it can fetch a data from user service, card service and order service. Let's say there is a query I'm sending from the front end. So front end is sending, front end is a UI, Android or any mobile device or desktop or any kind of application. You will be using client library to send a query mutations. Let's say here I'm sending a query, fetch me the I mean, there is a query which is asking a user data and all the orders which the user has been user has placed in a particular duration that you will send a query. Now, this gateway will send a request to these two microservices under the hood, user service and order service will will fetch the data, aggregate the data and send the data back to you because this is Apollo GraphQL router. I mean, Apollo GraphQL gateway. Earlier, I used to build the application like this without Apollo Federation. In that case, I used to do a schema stitching manually and I used to merge the data coming from user service and order service and used to do that. But that is has gone now. We will be using Apollo GraphQL Federation 
and this apolographical gateway will actually merge the schemas coming from the user service card service and order service and then expose exposes all the queries mutation and subscription together so that you can just send a single query and this graphql router or the the gateway is responsible for fetching the data from underlying services user service card service and order service you don't need to you just need to use some special annotations that this is a shared data and whenever you send a query it is responsible for fetching the data from multiple microservices so in the enterprise microservice world this is really helpful and when you when you see the code that how it is working under the hood you will be really impressed that how it is doing it because what we are doing is we are just exposing graphql schema i mean here these are like plain simple graphql services we are going to write multiple graphql services but obviously they, they will not be duplicate you are writing a microservice world there is a user service auth service and all and every service is exposing uh, some schema this gateway this router will be a centralized place to which we will be talking and this gateway will stitch and merge the schemas coming from multiple services so that at centralized i can talk, i can send a single query and fetch the data i don't need to do some additional things to merge the response or aggregate the data coming from different microservices this is really an interesting playlist because i'm going to touch all the concepts of graphql apollo graphql federation and this is a evolving concept because what these services are exposing these services are exposing their subgraphs and this router or this gateway is merging those subgraph and exposing a single graph because this is the router and the client will be sending a single query okay give me the user product with the user data so i need to fetch the user data from the user service and the orders from the order graphql service and this router this is actually the gateway it is going to merge the subgraph exposed by different services like this so this is a polo router i mean the 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 main concept is the main restriction is this this all should expose the graphql subgraph i mean subgraphs this cannot be rest api this cannot be a data source this cannot be some legacy system this should be a modern system exposing the graphql interface that is the the restriction it is putting and that is fine because if you are building a modern service then you can do it something like this so this is the user microservice exposing the user types this is the product microservice and this is the review microservice and here you can see you are actually passing the user reference everywhere so it is like actually uh, you can consider it like a join you are creating a join here and giving the reference of user inside a cart or giving the reference of user inside order so whenever you want to fetch the data this gateway will do the join of data from the user service to the order service i'm not talking about database joins here but the references we are storing inside a schema and based on these references like the user has the the reference like let's say product has the reference of reviewer reviewer has a reference of user so if i want to fetch the reviews uh, submitted by this user i'm able to do it because i already have the reference defined in the type definition of the schema right we will be defining the types we will be exposing the subgraph from these different services you can see this is the type definition of a review service product service and user service so this user reference is already being captured by these subgraphs so there is obviously some kind of a reference we need to put in the other subgraph microservice so that they can attach or they they know how to fetch the data so if i wanted to fetch the orders of that user users will be fetched from here and then i already have your order order service subgraph already has a reference of user so they should be able to fetch the orders of underlying user i mean based on the current session so this is going to be an interesting playlist for me even i really want to teach this thing apollo graphql federation with a real world example we can we will build a housing application where you can sell and buy the houses and we are going to build the the whole back end systems for this and we are going to use nestjs for it so it's all going to be the nestjs graphql ecosystem we are going to build there's just graphql services we are going to write apollo graphql federation even i wrote a blog series on this if you if you are interested in learning this 
then these blogs will tell you how the Apollo Graphical Federation really works. This is a little bit old, 2022, but the concept is evolving a lot. If you talk about the microservice world and how we merge the data and how we expose the data from different services to a one single query or mutation. Okay, you can read this and you can just get to know more about this particular thing. You can see what this is doing. This is a Apollo Graphical Gateway and this is uh, merging the schemas coming from different services and exposing the same schema through this gateway to all the other services. It's not only merging it. The responsibility is, let's say there's some client send a query to fetch the, the data which is coming from multiple microservices. So you don't need to do anything. This Apollo router should be able to deal with the, the data, how to fetch the data from auth service, planet service and satellite service. We just need to configure the endpoints of this service, that service and that service. What this Apollo server will do is, Apollo gateway server will do is, it will fetch the schema from this service, this service and that service, manage the references and create a schema plan, schema plan on this server. So when you send a query, it will I, I detect, okay, from what all different places I need to fetch the data and I need to merge that data. So that is being done by the logic of this Apollo GraphQL gateway. Okay, that is Apollo Federation at the end. Okay, it, it's an interesting read. If you want to just learn about it, you can just uh, go through it. Uh, there are there are four blogs and I will recommend if you just want to go through this playlist, either you go through these blogs or just stay tuned for my playlist. I will be covering a lot of really good concepts about Apollo GraphQL gateway and the same concepts you can adopt in your microservice world. These can be independent GraphQL services. You write your gateway and send this unique endpoint, which you can authorize, authenticate, whatever the logic you wanted to place to your front end, to your clients. Client can be your desktop app, web app or the mobile app. Okay, uh, let's talk more about this in the coming videos.